Absolutely. I want to go to the right to the next topic because to me it connects perfectly where you just said you made a point, right? You were saying, um, you know, it could be a negative thing. It's, mm-hmm. a, it's a fantasy. Right. Right. So going off that right there, the fantasy. Right. I want to start talking about this next topic with how my son, a 19-year-old going on 20, and me, uh, a grown-ass man, you know what I'm saying, 46, how we view porn. You know what I'm saying? From one perspective to the young perspective. You know what I'm saying? Because my son said something that, they, that resonated with me. I want to say like last year. He said something I never heard. And this might have been when you were 18. He said porn Man. is bad. Mm. Like he literally, we were talking, and I can't remember why. And he was like, nah, I think porn is bad. And I was like, that really blew me away. You know what I'm saying? Because I was like, I had never heard a young man say that, especially in today's day and age where it's glorified. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It is glorified so much where everybody's like, you know, it's normal. You got to masturbate all the time. You got to do this, especially as a man nah, and yada, nah, yada. Nah, nah, nah. And, uh, and don't get me wrong. Like I said, we'll unpack this. But when you said that, I remember you saying some points after as to why you thought it was bad. So get into that a little bit. Why you as a young man view porn as bad? Because uh, it's the fantasy. You know what I mean? Um. You feel like it was messing up your mental? Yeah, I'm finna get into it. Okay. Um, I had a experience one time, um, at a young age, man. Uh, where I just couldn't, I couldn't jump, man. My mm. my thing, you know, I was laid up with a girl at her house, and she ready to go. Couldn't get up. Damn. You know what I mean? And I, I had I've, to. I've had that. Yeah. Yeah. I've and that, that was when I was like, like grown. <laughs> <laughs> like I was when I was like coming out of high school when I thought so I had it all together. Yeah, yeah. like eighteen. Where I, I already had bodies and sexual ex- encounters and stuff like that with different women. Yeah. And stuff like that. Uh so for this some for uh, for this to happen, this was something new to me. You know what I mean? And it's be, and it was literally because of the porn. Mm. So you were saying that you felt like this Watching it so much, whatever it was you were used to a certain image, yeah. a certain uh, sensation. Yeah, because when you see, um, you know, they gotta make porn look good. Right. So uh, everybody, everybody that done seen porn, uh, <laughs> they know it is not what really go on in the bedroom half the time. You right. know what I mean? So as a young kid, when you're seeing these things and stuff like that, like as kids, we, we grow up and we're reaching for like sponges, you know what I mean? Like we're trying to reach out for information and stuff like that to piece together life and shit like that. So yeah. um, when you don't have like a lot of sexual experience, you know what I mean? You go out searching for uh, answers and, and things to add to your bag and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like, right. you know, you try to find out how to please a woman. Um and a lot of times young men find that uh, through porn, but porn is misleading. Mm. Porn will lead you in the wrong direction. Mm. Um, you could take bits and pieces, mm. uh, but if you're a young kid watching that and thinking uh, you about to do this all night to <laughs> the to the girl and she about to uh, squirt for you, uh, you got another thing coming, bro. You ain't put in no foreplay, gangster. That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> she about oh to hate my. you for life, bro. Oh, my God. You ain't oil up your hand. You ain't getting nothing. You just, you just, you going off what you see. Yeah. Monkey see, monkey do. You going off yep. what you see, man. That's all that happened to me, and that's why I came to my dad, and I was like, man, I'm, yeah. man, that was just, it was a trash experience and shit. I, I know it was because of the porn. Mm-hmm. They ain't no... And yeah. yeah, and yeah, and I was right. Yeah, to to me, uh, you know, it's different reasons, right? Like some could say they don't watch it for a moral reason, or spirituality. You know, they're religious or whatever. Or the reason that my son just said, right? I think all of those work. Uh, I've seen some people get on podcasts, or whatever. They're like, oh no, they're asked questions like that. Yeah, poor's fine. Watch it. Watch it with your partner. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm about and, to dive into that too. That's a, that's another yeah. subject we could dive into. Yeah, and um. For me, we can get it. Remind me about that because I think there's something to talk about that. Yeah. But with that being said, it's like I always grew up. I grew up old school. It was in my dad's closet. You know, there was no Internet. It did not exist. We had to earn our porn back in the day. You know what I'm saying? We had to go get the dirty magazines. We would steal them from the liquor store, like down the street. These older kids showed us how to steal shit. So we would steal the, the dirty magazines. Mm-hmm. And uh, I mean, we had a clubhouse. 
And in order to get admission to go into the clubhouse, you had to steal something <laughs> from the store. They were like, what you steal? Let's just to go with it because we was, you know, yeah. divvy up. So a lot of us, candy, pencils, whatever, porn magazine. You had to have a porn magazine. Mm. And then the first night we spent in the clubhouse, we was looking at porn magazines. It's like the whole time, right? Uh, that was just young kid shit, like what we were taught to do, right? Yeah. If you wanted to watch the real porn, you had to go in your father's closet. You know what I'm saying? When Man. he wasn't there and you got VHS tapes. Man. Y'all feel me in my age. You know what I'm saying? You look at you popping in tapes, seeing shit. And this is another thing. This is another thing. Um, cause I feel like we shared this experience of our homeboys watching that shit together. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And for B seeing that at a young oh age, my God, that was crazy. That fucked me up. Yeah. Cause I'm like, Am I doing something wrong? You know what I mean? Like you know, like the, you know, at that age, you it's a it's a yeah, it's a demeasuring competition. You know what I mean? It's who okay who, you know who the bigger man at yeah. the end of the day. You know what I mean? So Crazy for them to shit. be like that and be like you know that raunchy in the layup in the living room and just have it on the TV and shit like that. Yep. I'm thinking they getting you know just mad, uh, right. females. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, yeah, they fuck with me as a kid. Nah. I- like, I ran into that as well. And I feel like the homies that I click with the most, you know, birds of a feather flock together, thought like me. And we all thought that was weird shit. We were all like, hey, did you see them fucking dudes in that room? It's like a house party sometimes. Yeah. Just a kickback. And they all just in there with pillows over them or something yeah, like that. Or like some of them, crazy. And they just watching it. Some of them talking. Some of them just looking at it. But they in there together. I'm like, I wish that. Yeah, some of them were female, some of them not. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's just like, I wish that, what we doing? <laughs> I wish that porn was a, like, that's a that's an isolated thing, Playboy. Yeah. Like, hey, that's a personal thing. Yeah. I ain't trying to share this boner with you, bro. This is a personal hard on. You know what I'm saying? Like, get the hell out. But, you know, fools would do that. And I saw that growing up, like you were saying. And I just like, nah, that ain't for me. To me, growing up, it's a fine line and it's hard. It's hard because a lot of times you sound like a hypocrite. Because on one hand, I felt like porn is bad. I still do. I feel bad for people that are in the porn industry, even though they're like, you know, they love it for the most part. Um, but being Christian and whatnot and uh, struggling with Christianity at times and all that other stuff, before I was even a Christian, mm-hmm. I felt bad watching porn. Mm. And there are certain acts of porn that I was like, this shit is bonkers mm. you know what i'm saying like i was always like if i watch i like you know we all have the stuff that we watch right. or that we, we're used to watch and it turns us on and yada yada right 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 but you know damn well now that's uh, you know from vhs tapes you know on the internet you can't control that shit you click one video you got 50 right next to it you got advertisements and all your blah, 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 spread eagle it's all right in your mm-hmm. face <laughs> And yeah, that no, turns me down. To me, I'm like, that is the most raunchy, disgusting shit. What I want to see, I want to see. And y'all are throwing like you just got Twitter, you got Tasty Blacks. Yeah, you, you got, <laughs> got Poor Hood, you got Ace Videos, you got everything. But it's so many just in the palm of your hand, man. Right, you know, right. it's too it's, you, it's too accessible nowadays. You, and it and shoot, not uh nowadays you don't even have to go on a site, bro. You can nope. just open up Instagram, yep. <laughs> open up. Twitter, uh, oh, anything, Facebook. any social media, man, and it's you getting there. it in your face, man. So it is in your face. It's a wild era we're living in. That's what I'm saying. It's like, and when you do that, you go searching for it. I mean, shit, it is all there. And to me, it'll throw so many disgusting fucking things. And I think to myself, people man, really watch this I've heard shit. A, I've heard a lot of men say that too. Grown men say that. Um, um, damn. I heard a lot of people say that, you know, like that, that, uh, that porn shit, like, it's not. It's not a good thing, like, mm. even watching it together. You know what I mean? Right, like, right, right, right. You getting a fantasy now. You know what I mean? Like, right. now now your girl may not, you know what I mean? Like, she might, she might not even get wet for you no more because now she got, you know, mm. old dude in her head. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. she know, she, and now she's putting things on you depending where you at, you know, yeah. where, where you are at and with and yeah. how comfortable you are with yourself, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You might take that as disrespect, you yeah. know what I mean? She might be like, why you ain't hitting it like him? Mm. And now you looking at yourself in the mirror like, right. you know, stupid. Yeah. You looking like, that's you feel like I, a, a clown now. That's why, hell no, when they ask about threesome, hell no, why I ever do a threesome with the woman that I love? Fuck that. 
And you be even if it's another woman, I could see the temptation, but I'm like, uh, nah, because it's the devil's playground. It's a thin line. It's a thin line, but you opening a fucking door. It'll never work out. And something might happen during that threesome that's gonna change your girl or mm-hmm. gonna change you. Mm-hmm. And now you gotta deal with some shit or some new insecurities, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And fuck. That exactly, you know, I've had people. All you're doing is opening doors yeah. of problems. I've had people close to me talk about they were gonna do it or whatever, or they did do it, or they watched porn together, and I just couldn't do it because I, like I said, it's a struggle for me because I do think porn is bad, and especially like the gross, just fucking disgusting shit. I really can't believe we got so many different subjects and genres and all this stuff of porn. There's, I mean, there's fetishes for everything nowadays. For fucking everything there is a fetish out there for. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I'm no better than the next man. I just know what works for me. And I do feel there's a level of porn or porn in general that's a level of lust, I should say, mm-hmm. that is that is bad. It almost, it gives me in general, just it, it brings my spirit down. Mm-hmm. Um, and I even think that, you know, people talk about masturbation, right? We got that infamous scene in Wolf of Wall Street where he's like, what kind of number? How much you masturbating today? How much you masturbating this week? He's like, I don't know, maybe like 10 times. He goes, those are rookie numbers. You got to get them up. <laughs> you got to masturbate like 50 times a week or something. You can't come in here, you know, nut it up. And people literally believe that. And like I said, once again, you know your body better than I do. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt. But for me, I just think. You really gotta, you really gotta dig. Don't ever take the easy way out, especially when it comes to you and your own body and sexuality. Because for me, that don't work for shit. Like, that ends up making me miserable. You know what I'm saying? Like, if anything, I want to share that with my wife. Right. Let's be real. It don't always happen like that. Right. At all. Right. But when I'm when I don't get to do that, it it brings me down in a way. Right. You know what I'm saying? And if I'm going to porn to fill that gap, right. it brings me down even more. Exactly. Like, it's a fucking fantasy, like you were saying. Exactly. And in a way... And if you're really in love, this shit won't even turn you on, man. That porn shit don't even turn you on, man. All you want is your girl. Right. So like, if she fucked up, is you fuck, you're fucked up. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've had it to where I've had a girlfriend tell me she watched the porn, right? Mm-hmm. Women that watch porn are so fucking intimidating to me. Hey, y'all scare me, bro. They, they y'all are scare me so too. intimidating. When they y'all just, scare me too. Yeah, when they are like... They, they boast about it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And they're like, yeah, I watch porn. Should mm-hmm. I, I watch it like a couple times a night or yada, yada. Mm-hmm. They got dildos or all this other stuff. They intimidate mm-hmm. me. And it's not because like, oh, well, you ain't up to that sexual level. Nah, it's just like I, I'm trying to find somebody that's compatible with me. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, so right, right, if right. you if I feel like you really into this lust thing and that mm-hmm. like sex is like way more to you than anything else, then it brings up a whole lot of other shit that I don't know if I'm willing to deal with. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know where your self-esteem or spirituality or, or exactly, bro. identity. Exactly. And exactly. Like with that girl that uh um, you know, that I was with in the alleyway and stuff. Yeah. She uh was a porn watcher. You know what I mean? At at that age. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, having on her me phone, she put you on or She put me on. Yeah. She literally put me on to porn. For real, for yeah. real. Um and I was uh, uh, mesmerized by the shit, but it it scared me that yeah. she knew that much already about the world. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Because now, as a young kid, I'm thinking like, shit, you, who else you did this with? You know what I mean? Right. Like, you had to do this with, right. you know, a handful of other people to be, you know, to know all this information and, and put it together like that. But right. yeah, she... She uh she definitely knew what the fuck she was talking about and mm-hmm. and, and and what was going on at a young age. So that shit intimidated the the shit out of me. Yeah. Um. But yeah, stuff like that. Hey, woman, now like, um, the 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 that topic doesn't really intimidate me with a with a uh the girls I I put myself around and stuff like that. Cause um i'm not really in that stage of life where i'm looking to settle 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 down for real for real so it's not a real big qu- question on my end but i could definitely see um for like someone you want to share the rest of your life with and stuff like that like watching porn together is definitely not um you know you know to uh, di- you know different strokes for different folks uh, whatever floats your boat but right um that's <laughs> uh i don't think that's in my that's in my, that's for me, bro. Yeah. I don't think that's well, for me. Now that we talked about it, and I don't mean to 
to talk about it like, oh, we're just so good. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Not at all. Like I said, there's some levels to this. Don't get me wrong. Now, let me say, because for those of you that watch my other show, Button Check, you know what I'm saying? That's more for esports and whatnot. We do this thing called Horny Tuesdays that the fans named, and we show beautiful women from time to time. And okay. I always kind of joke how fine they is, or yada, yada. And they're jokes. We having fun as adults. But back to that thing. It is hard sometimes because you're a lot like me in this sense where we love women. Like, a beautiful woman to me is a beautiful woman. I don't give a shit what color her skin is. Or yada, right, right, yada. Right, right, right. If she's bad, she is bad. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I've always felt like that since I was a kid. I tell them the story where when uh, I remember my dad had gave me a deck of cowboy cheerleader cards, mm-hmm. and I used to keep yes, them under my pillow. Yes. I was like, man, like first grade or something like that? Like, mm-hmm. literally. I was like first grade. I got this deck of cowboy cards, cheerleaders, and I... I wait for me to be by myself. I'm kissing. I'm kissing everyone. I got a different shade of cheerleader on each card. I mean, nah, I he got the real cowboy cards. He got Deion Sanders. He kissed. <laughs> <laughs> he kissed a Deion in the bedroom. <laughs> he kissed a proud time in the bedroom. <laughs> he kissed a Sanders in the bedroom, man. Yes, fool. He kissed a uh, Tony. You tell, them, you're telling man. me you wouldn't kiss, kiss Deion Sanders? Kiss a ton of Romo. That's prime time right there, baby. I ain't kissing. You'd be a Sanders, fool not man. to kiss that man. Sanders though, baby. No, nah, check it out. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's why. I, that's why I had to clarify that. Yeah, shit. that's be how like, I had to pick cheerleaders. Up. Cheerleaders. Said, cheerleaders, y'all. But yo, cheerleaders. yo, I, I kissed them to the point where them cars was worn out. You know what I'm saying? That the damn color was coming off them cars. That's how much your boy Nesta was putting it down on them cars. Man. But look, listen. So I knew from a young age. I used to age, kiss little barber dolls. Oh God! I I was so freaky with it though. I put him against the wall. What the? <laughs> and he never heard this, so y'all getting exclusive. I put him against the wall. I put him against the wall. And this one, me and my sister would share a room, right? So we had bunk beds. So I would wait for her to leave or whatever, right? She go use the restroom, or whatever. And then she had the Barbie dolls. You know what I'm saying? It's like she a little girl. It's, you know, that's how she played. We had action figures. She had Barbie dolls. Yeah. So boom. So I'm. You know, we had a toy bin in the closet. So you know, she leave. You yeah. know what I mean? Lock the door real quick. Yeah. Boom, dig up in that bin. Do that motherfucker. Do that through the barber dog against the wall. <laughs> Lay the hair back. You know what I'm saying? Then I get the you kiss the doll out on the wall. Like, <laughs> like I wait, like wait. I must have seen it on a movie or something. I don't know show where I got ki- that from. Show me the kiss again. How you kiss it? Like, <laughs> like all up on the like Hunging her down, everything. It's like a, this dog bit this big now. <laughs> so I'm a kid, the dog this big. So I got him against the wall like this. And I'm just going to town. Oh, like, my God. But I can't. Oh, wow. It's the, but, it's but the see, fantasy, man. That's what I'm telling you. Like, okay, it's something. It's like, you know, I, I've had, exactly. I've had, you know, different friends, obviously. But I've seen that. Some men, sexuality is very easy to control. It's It's almost like not a thing for them. Like. They, they, I don't know. You've seen it, though. We have friends and family members like that. But some, you see it strong. To every woman they walk by, they looking, they checking out, they trying to holler at her, they constantly on their mind. Sometimes, for some men, it is a damn struggle mm-hmm. because that fucking, whatever that is, that lust or whatever you want to call it, it is there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you got to find a way as a man. Yeah, if you don't control it, it will control you. Exactly. You got to find a way to put that shit in check, and I think that's especially when porn becomes bad. Because uh, you, in a way, just like you could be addicted to anything, you could be addicted to that. Is it? Like real talk. Is it? So anyway, I think that's important to know that uh, just because we grew up in a society that, oh, you need bitches and you need to get some pussy and all this other stuff. Like, nah. Yeah, man. So it's okay to wait, man. It's definitely okay to wait. Like real talk. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely okay to wait. Yeah.